heat transfer problems solved through FEA software answers so in this uh, exercise it is uh, a furnace wall made of um, inside silica brick and its thermal conductivity is 1.5 watts per meter kelvin and outside magnesia brick each uh, is uh, of thickness 10 centimeter the inner and outer surfaces are exposed to fluids so that indicates that there is uh, convection here so you should uh, you should include convection also here right? so exposed to fluids at temperatures of 820 degree centigrade and 110 degree centigrade respectively so the contact resistance is also given it is 0.001 meter square kelvin per watt the heat transfer coefficient for inner and outside surfaces is equal to 35 watt per meter square kelvin so this is a film coefficient convection heat transfer coefficient so you need to find out uh, uh, heat flow through the wall per unit area per unit time and a temperature distribution across the wall so this is the problem so theoretical solution yeah, yeah be, before that before that uh, so the, mm, uh, the problem is like this okay so with the diagram it is shown like this this is a uh, silica brick and a magnesia brick This part is convection, and here silica will come. So, this is conduction. This is also conduction. This is also conduction, and this is convection. So, the fluid is in contact with this surface, and its temperature is uh, 820 degree centigrade, and fluid in contact with this outer surface has temperature 110 degree centigrade okay so to solve this problem so uh, yeah uh, one more thing here we need to find out uh, the length of the contact resistance so for that we have this uh, relation and assuming uh, the value of uh, thermal conductivity here k2 is 1 watt per meter kelvin contact uh, resistance is given so we can find out the value of l2 and it is found to be 1 mm from this from this solution this is 1 mm so i will take this also 1 mm and this also 1 mm and then here it is 10 centimeter that is 100 mm and this is 100 mm convection element convection element in uh, ANSYS has to be used here and here conduction elements and convection element here also okay so this is the this is about the problems so the solution theoretical solution is like this we can find out uh, value of q through this relation and then temperature across the thickness in like this so this is the theoretical approach so we'll create the finite element model apply the boundary condition load boundary condition and solve and uh, we'll get this result through software okay so So ANSYS software, I'm using ANSYS software to solve this problem. So I'll show how to solve this problem, step-by-step -step procedure. So before you start, you please assign the directory. So directory where uh, you want to save this file and the job name also. Please don't forget to change the job name. The procedure goes like this. 
so environment here it is a thermal problem so select thermal environment element type you go as per this procedure select element then real constant then material properties then modeling meshing and then apply loads and solve and see the result element is a thermal link element i'm selecting so i need both convection and conduction element so i will select both conduction and then convection okay so remember this 33 33 is for conduction 34 is for convection that is type 2 so type 2 is convection 2 is convection and 1 is conduction so real constant so cross sectional area i am assigning here so i will uh, i will just check for just a minute right so it is yeah this is also assigned actually i don't want this okay so 33 and 34 okay close right so real constant add so 33 and 34 for both the i will assign cross sectional area here i am giving the values in meter okay so complete uh, problem for complete problem uh, I will take this unit in meter so meter is one uh, area is one meter square this is also for element 2 also cross-sectional area is one meter square right. so material properties material models I'll go like this it is k1 k2 k3 h4 and h5 so thermal conductivity k1 is uh, 1.5 watts per meter kelvin this is k2 value is 1 for k3 it is 4.9 and then one more model this is uh, for convection heat transfer coefficient it is 35 i'll take 5 also for this also, this is 35 okay so it is k1 k2 k3 k4 and k5 so after meta property as after assigning meta property it is modeling modeling create key points it is as per the geometry so since it is in uh, meter first key point at the origin next key point 0 0.001 because it is 1 mm where convection element will come apply then this silica brick it is 10 centimeter thick that is 100 mm then this is for contact resistance and this is for magnesia brick and then this is for convection on outer surface so we'll get one two three four five six six key points are created i will connect those key points i will just click on this side then it will select key point two 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 three 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6. So modeling is over. Now I need to 
mesh before that uh, i will uh, assign the material property for particular lines <coughs> here mesh attributes picket line so this is convection so select that line convection for convection say okay and it is h4 convection real constant let it be one because one or two both is uh, both are the same so you can select one or two and convection element is link 34 link 34 for convection apply and this is silica brick material is k1 and conduction element link 33 and this is contact resistance material is k2 again conduction apply and then <coughs> magnesia brick it is k3 element is conduction again apply so last one is convection it is h5 convection element i need to select it is 34 say okay so it is assigned metal properties assigned go for mesh mesh tool set number of element divisions i will give one okay mesh pick all okay, so now finite element model is created you can check by using this option plot controls style size and shape you can make out from this uh, view here this is convection conduction contact resistance conduction and convection so it is like this so i will uncheck this option right. okay so so finite element model is ready now i need to apply load apply temperature temperature on this end temperature on key points on this side so okay so temperature so temperature value it is 820 degree centigrade output also i will get in degree centigrade 820 degree centigrade apply on this end the temperature is 110 degree centigrade okay so load is applied So I'll solve this problem before solving I'll just save DB it will be the FE model is saved I'll solve this problem solve solution is done the general post processor plot results counter plot nodal solution degree of freedom solution nodal temperature it shows like this but you want to list the results you can select list results nodal solution degree of freedom solution nodal temperature okay so this is the temperature result